PCs. They're basically consoles, but they're just way more expensive. And for the past three months, I've been trying to build a PC myself. Now, just to clarify, I haven't actually been putting it together. I've just been trying to get all the parts together because I have zero money. But yeah, in today's video, I'm just going to be telling you about the PC that I've been trying to build for the past, like, three months. So yeah, before I started doing this, I've been, like, researching, like, a bunch of YouTube tutorials and, like, if parts are compatible and stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to be linking my part list in the description if you want to go check out the PC for yourself. And yes, I have also checked that all the parts are compatible. So right now, I'm going to cut to a clip of me showing off all the PC parts that I've got so far. And yeah, roll the clip. Hey guys, here I am on my phone. And these are all the PC parts I've got so far. First up, we have my CPU cooler. Here we have it right here. <coughs> we open it up. So the CPU cooler that I'm going to be using for this build is an AIO. It's a 240mm AIO. You can see the pump right there. And also the radiator. And we've also got the two fans in those bags. So next we have the power supply. So the power supply that I went with for this build is the Corsair RM750. So if we open this up here, we can see that we've got power supply itself. And then we've got all the big cables that are going to be running throughout my PC. Like this is the motherboard cable. So this is the Western Digital Black 1TB SN850. 7,000 megabytes a second read and write speeds. Absolutely insanely fast. Next one, we've got the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 32 gigabytes RAM. It's 3600 megahertz. Now this memory is pretty top of the line if you're looking for a nice DDR4 option for your PC build. So the next thing is my motherboard. Now this is one of the bigger ones I've got. So if I take all the stuff out of here. So this motherboard is a really high-end motherboard. The Asus ROG Strix X570E Gaming Wi-Fi 2. It's a very long name but it's a really good AM4 motherboard. So you can see we've got the CPU socket here, which I can flip up, and that's where I put my CPU in. By the way, the CPU I'm going with is the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU, because I like doing a lot of video editing and I need a nice, powerful CPU for that. So I've also got the RAM slots right here. You can flip those up. And we've also got the M.2 covers right here and here. And also the PCI slots as well. Also the power connectors. It's just a really nice motherboard as well. The I.O. looks pretty nice as well. We've got about seven USB ports, which is really nice. And this one comes with a built-in Wi-Fi adapter as well, so that's where we'd put them. And finally, we've got the case. So the case I went with for this build is the Corsair 4000X. It's already got three RGB fans in the front, although you can't see them. So if I take off the front panel and the dust filter, you can see that we've got three RGB fans right here in the front. So if I take off the side panel, although it's pretty dark, you can see we've got all the PCI slots. I think you can you can mount the GPU vertically as well. Speaking of GPU, the one that I'm going to use in this build is the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. Because I only have a 1080p monitor and I don't need something like insanely powerful. But yeah, I've got an extra fan slot in the back. And on the top here, we've also got where I'm going to mount my AIO. If I take off the back panel here, you can see that we've got some pretty nice cable management coming down there. Or RGB hub here, but I'm probably going to replace this with the one that comes with the CPU cooler over there. So right here, we can see we've got all the cables for the buttons on the top of it. We've got the front panel headers as well, USB-C power, USB power, all that stuff that's going to plug into the motherboard. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be leaving the link to the parts list in the description if you want to build this PC yourself. And if anyone has any tips for me before I start building, just leave it in the comments and I'll read them. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. And see ya.